Yo, yo, it's Zach Bradshaw, the Greens Press, SEO Pro, back once again without my microphone. So sorry for the crappy audio, but in this video, we are going to be adding a partner to our Facebook Business Manager. Um, you can do this on all different levels, um, at the ad account, at the page level, um, for your Instagram account, for what else they have, apps, and a couple of other things. Um, but I just want to start off by showing this video. If you are an agency or have an ad account and you are, or have a business manager account and you are looking to become somebody's partner, it can be very confusing as to where to find your ID. Um, you know, that's what happened to me because there's ad account IDs, there's page IDs, and they're all different. Um, but the easiest way to do it is just to log into your account, go to like the basic homepage, um, and then copy it from the URL at the top, right? So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to slide back over here into my client's ad account that I'm setting up or business manager account that I'm setting up for them. I'm going to come to the business manager, go to settings. And then again, there are a list of different assets that you can add these to and you can do it at different levels. For example, we are already a partner under the page account um, but we can also do this up here and just add a partner overall um, paste that business manager ID um, and then essentially give all of the permissions that we would like to give right um, so you see up here assign assets to Greensboro SEO Pro um, and we're just gonna do all of them because it's just so much easier for us to be able to um, do things but this is on the page level then we have accounts so we're gonna set this one here um, let's make sure these are so you have to make sure that the asset is selected so if if she for example had multiple pages there'd be pages here and now that I'm a partner she would get to choose which different pages that I have access to well she only has one page she only has one ad account um, and so that's enough for now there's also apps and you know what she somehow has a pixel set up on her website but it's clearly not um, set up in the typical way. I was wondering about that because I sure couldn't find it before um, and we will figure that out um, from here on out. But um, so if there are multiple accounts in here um, for ad accounts or for pages, then we could add those. And obviously you have the different permission levels over here. Um, if you're doing this for us, you probably just want to give us full admin accounts, um, but you want to make sure that whoever you add your permissions to, um, that they are somebody that you can trust, right? Um, by adding us as admins, we are now able to, you know, like I can assign users within my ad account um, and different things like that. But <clears throat> there's, a lot that can be done with these different management things and you can have people set at all different levels so I'm not going to get into the weeds on that one I just want to show you um, how and where to add um, the ID I could have done it at the individual levels but you saw I went to um, and this is going to say I went to the top up here um, went straight to partners um, and just added Greensboro SEO Pro as a partner we were already assigned on the page um, and now we've added it to the ad account um, if they go and get more um, you know, create more things, um, or, you know, if they had a second Facebook page or if they had a um, second ad account, um, then they could add us in the same way there. Um, and then you could do this at the people level, um, which is slightly different. So, um, this is her organization, right? Um, and she is the owner of that organization and the only person that she's given permission, um, under this, but she could also within her organization, um, add different people at this level and then assign them permissions, right? Um, she doesn't, she hasn't ha added any people to her organization yet. She would do this, do that by going up here. Um, then you can add what access there are, they're at their employee or their admin access. I think um, Facebook actually has a pretty good tutorial right at the beginning that kind of shows or a little guide that kind of shows um, exactly how these things work. Um, and you know, there are different advanced options you can look at um, where people have different permissions. And it's important that you read these and understand. Um, and this is a wizard that it goes through when you're adding different people. Um, and you do that by their email addresses, right? And this is their Facebook email address. Um, and maybe there's, maybe you could do this under your business. Like if you, you know, her website.com um, under that business, but I'm not quite sure. So um, I know that these are always connected to your personal page. Um, but like, for example, um, in order to send us access, like the, the admin email I use for my business manager account is Zach at Greensboro SEO Pro .com. Um, That is not the the same email that I use to log into the business manager. When I go to business.facebook.com, I'm using the email address that I use to log into my personal email account or my personal Facebook account, which is 
an old Yahoo account that I created when I was in middle school. Um, and that's, you know, the same account that I've, that my Facebook is under and I've never changed that. Um, and so depending on what level of partner or people that you're adding, you know, if you are, you might not need to add a partner account if you just want to add someone to an organization. If for example, you have a freelancer and you just want to add them to your organization and then give them, um, whatever permissions correspond to you. So I'll stop rambling about that. This is a video about how to add partners. Um, and so let's stick to that part of it. Um, thanks for listening. Um, you can go ahead and like, it, like, and subscribe if you want to, if not, that is cool too. Um, if not, or if you need help with SEO or obviously Facebook marketing or really any other digital marketing, we're always here to serve you until next time. I love you. Peace.